Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Seattle to play some Mario Tale. Uh, last time, if you guys remembered, we basically, we beat the game, but we did not get the final true ending. So that's where we're going to focus on, I guess. And uh, unfortunately, I had to look up some things, and I'm an idiot for having to look this up. But basically, uh, at the end of the game, he told uh, the Flowey, told us to go look for Undyne. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And I believe her house is somewhere over here. There it is, exactly, 100%. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can talk to Undyne and see what we can do after that. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. I will hang out, yes. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. It's a dog bone. Also, I feel like I lost my papyrus voice. Hi, papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. I lost my papyrus voice, I can't do it anymore. I've been getting kind of sick, and I've been feeling pretty terrible lately, so I apologize if I just sound... horrible. Hi! I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't... you two... come in? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go inside. Whoa, it's a cool sword. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh... thanks? I'll, uh, put it with the others. Okay, she doesn't like it. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, you two have fun. I don't think that's where the bathroom is. Why would the... Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just ignore Papyrus for now. So... Why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Oh. Wait. I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? <laughs> right? Sure. Really? How delightful. I accept. Well, that was easy. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not? Oh, that was... I, th I actually thought she was going to actually accept it. I thought she was just like a very happy face. She was just a laughing face. She was actually, you know, looking down on us. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were in my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now, get out of my house. Paris? Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? <laughs> Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be best friends. We're going to be best friends. Are we best friends? Besties. Oh, God. <laughs> That's even further than best friends. That's like a level beyond best friends. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? I'm looking at the glass. I'm gonna check on Papyrus one second. I just wanna make sure he's okay. Oh, leaving so soon? Nope. No, you're not. I just wanna check on Papyrus, lady. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Neither can I. Normally he nails the landing. Is that a joke? He nails the landing? I don't think so. One time, Alpha's, uh, friend came over here? All he did was lie seductively on the piano. What? And fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. That's kind of odd. The sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Can I get the dog bone, please? Yes. He ate all the bones, the little fat bastard. Has forks, spoons, and knives in the silverware drawer. Tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Seems about right. Oh, you read this already? Let's look at the stove. This oven is some top of the line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, Nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. I would not know that feeling because I don't know how to. I don't. I can't do magic personally. 
I hate cold food. So Alpha fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! Your food's gonna go bad, though. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to 10 times their size. Right? I think you watch too much anime, but sure. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Alright, this is okay. This Is Alphys a guy or a girl? Right here with the sword. He calls her a she. At the piano, she says it's a he. Watch. What? I'm not gonna serenade you. Oh, well, look back. Rewind and go. You can see yourself that she called Alphys a he here and a she at the sword. I guarantee it. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Alright, she wants us to have a seat. Let's have a seat. You'll sit down and progress, yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. It's hot tea, isn't it? I'm okay. I mean, I'm not the biggest tea fan or coffee fan, but I'll, I'll take tea. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, uh, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. All right. I really want to do that. I really want to do that. Let's just look at our options. Sword and acquired taste. Fridge is full of food. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Okay, that's a blatantly correct choice. That's good to know. Hot chocolate green cylinder. Sickly yellow liquid. Sugar. Here, I want you to choose what's best for me. Are, are you hitting on me? Fine, I'll take the sword then. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. I'll take the tea then. Let's not, let's go with the fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No. I'll have some sugar. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not going to give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? The human ice cream woman terrorize humanity with energy spheres? Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Uh, yes, actually. What? Really? That rules! I'll take some soda. Even though I'm not a big fan of soda. Oh, soda. Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Uh... I'll take some hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting Marshall stuck in his beard. I'll take the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Thank you. I appreciate that, Undyne. Uh, I would prefer black tea. I'm just a bigger fan of black tea. And that's only because my girlfriend drinks like a ton of black tea. Oh no, I just sneeze. No, I don't. I'll take a moment for the water to boil. You mean steep? You're gonna steep the tea leaves? But uh, mostly because my girlfriend, uh, you know, she is a big tea drinker and she prefers black tea. And every night, once in a while, I like to get her some nice tea. And she, you know, it always makes me happy when I get her the right tea with that she loves so very much. So I'm like, basically, what I'm basically trying to do is just basically just buy as much tea as I can, make her try a different variety of teas from different places, different locations, and just her, tell her, let her tell me what her favorite is so that way I can, I know for future references. Okay, it's all done. Wait, 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 hold on. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. I take a sip of the tea. It's burning. Uh, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good, yeah. Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! So, can I do something now? Hey! You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, 
You kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Azor. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Is he gonna pop out somewhere? Nope. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if... I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... Well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I can never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's the part that's part of why I started teaching him teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um maybe he can do something else with his life. That's why he's cooking all this spaghetti. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? Uh, I'll get you some more. Don't worry. Are you okay? Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. I can cook pretty okay. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can even imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh, my head. Please don't do that. Okay, thank you. Let's start with the sauce. That's a banana? And a carrot. Why is there a banana there? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Let's be as strong as we can. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Ah! That's a great punch. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. <laughs> but for now... We add the noodles, so we are making spaghetti. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. <laughs> They're the cheapest. Nah. <laughs> uh, just put them in the pot. How about we put them? I'll put them in the pot fiercely. Throw them in there. Who cares if it gets all over the stove? It's not like we're cleaning it. You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box. Oh. You should not put the box in there. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it. Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Ah, tap Z repeatedly to stir. Stir hard. Okay. Uh, ah, harder. Uh, uh, let me do it. My hand hurts. <laughs> You destroyed the pot, lady. <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove type symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Ah. I, can't, I mean, that's all I can do. Hotter. Oh, you know, you're gonna burn everything. Hotter. Darn it, my wrist actually hurts from matching the A button. Hotter. Wait, that's two. Well, there goes the house. Uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Uh, you know. So what's next? Uh, scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? I mean, I wouldn't mind a friendship bracelet. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? Nah, you're, you're cool, man. I can't force you to like me. I think you're pretty funny. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. 
Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh no, lady, come on. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Ah. I'll fake an attack. <sighs> That's my fake attack sound. I actually hit her. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me? <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid sack... Saccharine shit... shtick. <laughs> I said shtick, not something else. But... The way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Asgore, now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him... He probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now nah, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Out of this flaming house. That kind of rhymes. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I will guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. This is sudden, but just hear me out. Can you please? Hey. Wait, 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 your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus's. Come see me when you have less time, less time. Wait, I have to go to Papyrus's house. Did I actually have full inventory? Yeah, because I had bought a bunch of food. I just dropped the stick. I don't need the stick anymore. Damn it. I have to go all the way back to uh, Snowden Town. And I don't know how to get there. Fast. I wish I did, but I don't. It's been a while since I've last, you know, been in this whole section. It's done here, right? It has to be done here. Yeah, okay. Can you take me to Snowden, Snowden, lady? Yes. Or man. Snowden, please. We're off. But I'm not gonna lie, when I was smashing that A button, I was holding the you know, controller up to the microphone so you guys could probably hear me mashing. I guess like I twisted my hand kind of off, and uh... Kinda, I guess I just hurt my wrist because of the way I was holding my hand. Also, it's feeling tropical for some reason. And you know what, speaking of like, tropical weather... But the weather's freaking messed up, man. I'm not, I'm not joking. Like, this last, like, two weeks. Oh, there's a, there's a day of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like, what, like, 15 to 14 degrees Celsius? I'm not exactly sure. Then after that, it's like, uh... Oh. After that, it's like the next following day is like 20-something degrees Fahrenheit, which is like below zero Celsius. Centigrade, whatever you call it. And then after that, this week again, it was like 40-something degrees Fahrenheit. And then back to like 20-something. It's like, what the heck is going on with the weather, man? Global warming. It's a myth. Flat Earth. Conspiracy. Alright, let's talk to the Undyne. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? <laughs> Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal. We're friends, so... Uh, I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't have to go over there. So here you go. I got Undyne's letter. Thank you. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. We're reading it. And Dine writes a lot of letters. But she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. Just make sure she's out of iframe. Let's go save it first. And then read it. If we can find like a, like a, a save point. Because she can't be mad at us if we never read it. In the save file. So we gotta go to the Hotlands, I believe. That still weirds me out. Why is there a, Why is it moving like a cat? 
Why why is it running on water? Is it Jesus is it is it a Jesus cat? Tammy village. What? The room before the darkening lantern room. I don't think we learned about Tammy Village. What's Tammy Village? No, okay, it's nothing here. We're good. Come again sometime. Are you like the Reaper or something? Like what is it called? It's like the the the, the skeleton that guides you through the river sticks, right? Seems a strange laboratory. Fills me with determination. Yes. Let's go ahead and look at the letter. Maybe if you check the lad door, you can slide it underneath. Oh. I can't actually read it. I was hoping I could read it. Undyne's letter. Unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. Okay. Uh, slide it. Yeah, sure. I'll slide it. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can, can I just slide it back out? You can't. No, no. I can't, I can't keep doing this. I, I'll read this one. Oh, it's the nose thing. I forgot. Um, it's, it's so kind of strong, isn't it? Uh, wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh, my god. Did you write this letter? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could've... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, you wrote that way. Uh, it's surprising. It said Undyne on the letter. It, I read it myself. It said, hey, unique letter written by Undyne. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately, too. Um, uh, you know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make up for you. Yeah, let's go on a date. What? No? Uh, you're supposed to go on a date with Undyne. Dating start. Question mark. <laughs> uh, sorry, I I'm still getting dressed. Oh god. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She just got a great sense of, uh... Anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Actually, we, st we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Um... I gotta, be, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase chances of a successful, successful outcome of this the date, right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Oh, uh, maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Okay. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, uh... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. He doesn't know how, she or he does not know how to go on a date, right? So, uh, you like anime? <laughs> uh, do you like... An oh my god, I was right! <laughs> you know what? 100% honestly? I think anime is okay. I'm not like the biggest fan. I used to be a pretty big fan when I was younger. Nowadays, I'm more like, ugh, anime. But I, I still would watch the occasional ones, like the ones that I actually enjoy. Uh, kind of. Hey, me too. Uh. Hey, let's go somewhere. Do you want to go to like an anime shop? <laughs> but where's a good place to go on a date? Uh, I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. That's actually like the worst place you could probably go for on a date. Don't take your first date to a garbage dump, guys. And girls, of course. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh. <laughs> She's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh... Well... Oh no. Here she comes. Hey! There you are. I, uh... Realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ugh. Have you at least seen her? Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, Undyne. We're, we're friends. Yes, I have seen her. Yes! So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh. My. God. 
Oh, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you. To make you feel better? Oh, no. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it that way. Uh, I'm sorry I messed up again. Dine's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lives. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Honesty is always the answer. Just be yourself. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? <laughs> no. Or a truth where neither of us are. Uh, well, that may not be the case. They say be yourself. I said be yourself, uh, actually. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> oh, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They're all get hurt because of me, but how can I tell them dying the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Well, we can either roleplay it or we can roleplay it. So let's roleplay it. Ro roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I want... You to be Undyne. Me? Undyne? Uh... Uh... Okay, okay. I'll say what I think she'd say, and you, uh... You show me what I'm supposed to do. Ahem. <laughs> ah, hey, Alphys. You look cute today. Which I say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. Yo, you're one hot, hot <laughs> Hi, Undyne. Okay. Hi, Undyne. Can we talk? Talk? To you? Hmm. I guess so. I often seem excited to listen to you for some reason. I will make intent eye contact with you, so sweet. So you sweet? Why will you talk? So you sweat while you talk. So what is it? Uh, let's, let's tell- Okay, let's tell Undyne the truth. What? So you've been lying to me the whole time? Alphys, I can't believe you. You worthless slime. How could you betray our friendship after how much I trusted you? Elvis, I'll never love you. Never will you feel my passion and embrace. I, Undyne, will never kiss you with my beautiful lips. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just, uh... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Uh, wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we're only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. T what? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. <laughs> they aren't real. At the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. That time I- Alphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Crack the neck right now? Yo, yeah. <laughs> Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or any history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What if I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are, and I know just the training you need to do to do that. Undyne, you... you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Oh no... <laughs>
Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Oh no. Love it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, I'm dying. I'll do my best. Papyrus is the best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? <laughs> I get the joke. Is anime real or is anime not real? Anime is a real thing, yes. Wait, do you mean to say, like, what's the question? Is she asking me if the anime thing is real or anime is not real? Anime is not real. No. No! I can feel my heart breaking to pieces! No. I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. Where are we? Oh, we're back here. Is this the garbage area? It is. Okay. Well, we learned a couple things. Uh... I guess. I'm filled with determination. We learned that Papyrus is still the best character in the game. Hands down. Oh, he's kind of, you know, this just, this maybe it's me because I haven't seen the, the ending yet or anything like that. But people keep saying that they prefer Sans to Papyrus. Or I feel like Sans has a much more prominent role in the online community of Undertale. But I just think Papyrus is just way better. That's just me, though. Alright. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Undertale. We'll be back next time to do who knows what. I honestly don't know what else we're supposed to do. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Deuces!